For 51 weeks a year, the majestic beauty and tranquility of South Dakota's Black Hills is like nothing else in the country. Nestled in those Black Hills rests a peaceful, sleepy town of 6,000. This is a look at the town on any given week. It's quiet, laid back, and easy going. But there's one week where its population can swell over a half a million people as a thunderous hurricane of man and machine floods the town, making it the largest city in the state. The town is Sturgis, and this mecca for motorcycle enthusiasts is called the Sturgis Rally. And for decades now, the epicenter of the rally has been right here in this eight block stretch, simply known as Main Street. Come along with us today as we get our first look up close at the transformation of downtown Sturgis. Hello everyone, welcome to the channel and today's video. Yeah, and hey, as many of you know, we've been doing a series of videos from our South Dakota Sturgis yep. Motorcycle Rally trip, and today is the fifth video of that series. Yeah, as we roll the video, if you enjoyed it, please smash that like button. Yeah, and consider subscribing if you haven't done so already, and make sure you smash the bell notification so you'll be notified the next time we upload a video. Yep, and now the video. Yeah, enjoy the ride. Okay, Clecky, what's on our agenda today? So today we're going into Sturgis, finally. Then we're going to visit the Full Throttle Saloon and also the Buffalo Chips. So come along with us. As we ride to downtown Sturgis, which is about 15 miles away, here's a little look at the campground here in Spearfish. And as you can see, some folks are arriving and some probably leaving. And as you can also see, the campground has plenty of RVs as well as tent campers, all here to enjoy the great event. As we hopped on I-90 East with excitement building. And after making the exit, a few more turns and Main Street was in sight. And now, a ground level look.
found a plethora of vendors where you can pick up event souvenirs, clothing, jewelry, and for Clay, a new purse. which included a new vest. And don't forget the family members. Oh yeah. And there are plenty of vendors for anything and everything motorcycles too. <music> Including demo rides for Indians and slingshots. Right beside the old school is the new school, the Sturgis Harley Davidson. It too is surrounded by shops and places to eat. Speaking of places to eat, take your pick, like the Stinger Saloon, the world famous Iron Horse Saloon with its three stories. Don't forget about the Knuckle Saloon, which takes up an entire city block. Many of these venues have live entertainment. And we really enjoyed the upstairs view of the Knuckle, which provided a pretty cool view of the South Street. And of course, we enjoyed a nice meal at the Loud American, which also has live entertainment throughout the day and evening. Not sure what the deal is with this bike, but it looks like someone was about to have a bad day. Oh, and speaking of shopping and dining, the city of Sturgis has calculated that the rally brings in over $800 million to South Dakota annually. And there's never a dull moment. In fact, you never know who you'll run into. From the king and his twin, to the character Andy in Toy Story. We really enjoyed our time in downtown Sturgis with all that's going on, the energy of the place, checking out the bikes, the businesses. And before we leave, we want to take you to the world's largest biker bar, the Full Throttle Saloon. It's about a 13 mile ride away from downtown Sturgis with beautiful open spaces. As we pass several campgrounds, they're close to the action if that's something you're looking for. Out of what appears to be in the middle of nowhere, the famous Full Throttle Saloon with its new location. With its large metal sculptures honoring bike builder Jesse Rook, who lost his life in a motorcycle accident in 2019. The next sculpture honors Indian Larry, 
He was known for doing different stunts, including standing up on the seat while riding down the highway. He actually lost his life in 2004 from doing that very stunt. And you can't miss the old flaming biker with the chainsaw. And that one, well that's Arlen Ness, another bike builder who passed away from natural causes in 2019. As we enter the gate, we could immediately tell that this property is huge, 600 acres in fact. They have a campground, cabins, tent camping. And as you can tell from the sea of bikes, a good crowd had already arrived. As Clay shows the scale of the large cowboy who stands as a welcome to all who visit. Unfortunately, the original full throttle burned down in 2015 after the 75th anniversary of the rally. But hey, you can't stop this party. It was rebuilt at this location and reopened in 2017. The saloon has old, heavy industrial equipment throughout. It has an inside and outside stage. And motorcycles perched above the crowds. I have no idea what that is. But that, well, that's called the wall or the globe of death. And those guys in there have tremendous focus. Again, the scale of this complex is impressive. And they keep the crowds entertained and involved. They even have an acrobatic high wire act on the zip line which we didn't see, but that would be later in the evening. But you can get some old fashioned ice cream just like your grandmother used to make. Clay asked, and I knew what was coming next. Time to visit some of the many vendors that's on the property. And like any small town, they have places for you to eat and to get a tattoo. That's Michael Ballard, the owner of Full Throttle. And we could tell that during the rally, he seems to be as busy as he was in the six seasons of the TV show. Well, folks, that's all we have for you in this short time together. Yeah, hey, listen, be sure to tune into our next video where we ride the one-of-a-kind Needles Highway and we participate in a special ride that was organized by a fellow YouTuber. Yep. All that and more coming up next. But thanks for watching this video and until next time, be, be well, well and stay, stay safe. safe.